Hey everyone, this is uh, Woodcraft by Scott, otherwise known as Iggy. I thought I would try to create a video showing my entire process from beginning to end. So in order to get to this point in which everything is done, oiled, and drying, I want to start at the very beginning. So first things first, I have all of my patterns scanned into my computer. I have so many that trying to thumb through them is a major nuisance. So whenever it comes time to decide what needs to be cut this week, I print them out, cut out the outlines, and then it's time to mount them. I generally buy my poplar from Lowe's Home Improvement, and it comes standard in a six foot board. So at this point, what I'm going to do is put down my clear shelf line paper, lay them out, and go from there. I'll be right back. So I'm hoping that when I piece this together, it's not too choppy and jumpy, but if it is, I do apologize. So after cutting everything out and getting prepped, first thing I do is a dry layout of the patterns that I have to do that week. Now, I can usually get 20 to 21 patterns on a single board. This week is a little unusual because I'm trying to stock up for a big event, so I have uh, you know about 8 or 10 of a single item on here. But again, do a dry layout. Then I put down my laminate. I use a peel and stick, clear laminate. Used to order it from Amazon, but they quit carrying the 12 inch width, so I had to go to Walmart for it now. I can still order online and have it delivered for free if there's more than $35. After the dry layout, I snap a picture of how I laid them out. And then I spray using 3M45 general purpose, spray adhesive. I spray about half of the board. What I have found, especially during the summer, is that if I spray the entire board, by the time I get back to laying out all of the patterns, it has somewhat dried and the patterns don't stick as well. So, spray about half the board. Using the picture that I took, I lay out the patterns as they were, and I stick them. Now, one thing that I do use is, after I have laid them all out, I have this little hard roller that I bought. And afterwards, I go over the entire surface, making sure that I've got good contact and good adhesion of the pattern. To the peel and stick laminate. All right, so after doing the layout and putting the patterns on the board, I then cut the board into manageable pieces, usually two, three, or four animals to a piece. And then we finally get to step into the magic room. My cutting room is surrounded in plastic. I did not want sawdust getting all over the place, so I work in here. So, take my pieces with multiple animals on them. I then cut the outline of each animal. I usually stack up 10 at a time. That's my goal each day is to do 10 puzzles per day. So as an example, cut the outline of the seagull. Then once they're cut, I've got them stacked up, I then take them to the drill press and drill holes for all of the closed lettering and other items that will need an inside cut. Once the holes are drilled, stack them back up, have them ready to cut, and then cut each one into its finished product. After being cut, they go to my finish area. Where I oil the pieces that need to be oiled. Animals that have a colored base, mostly the uh, sea critters. So for instance, there's a dolphin. Up top is a manatee. There's a sea turtle and a frog. Their bases are over here waiting to be painted. I've got color set up for what I need. I pretty much only use now blue, green, and brown. So, bases will probably be painted today. 
these were just laid out and oiled today so I usually try to let them sit for three or four days just to soak in and then they will be ready for shrink wrap and these are all the ones that I have stockpiled for my upcoming large show so it's a little extreme I've got about three or four hundred animals now for my week-to-week -week farmers market I have a bin that contains about 80 duplicate items these are my best sellers I take those those with me every week the bin down below are my kids puzzles I take about 70 to 80 of those also to the farmers market every week the ones that I put on display are in this bin I can fit about a hundred to 110 in there I just cut that mermaid yesterday and it needs to go in there because that'll be the display piece this is my bin of miscellaneous stuff for my shows uh, tablecloths water forms etc those are my displays that I built for my tabletops tables banners chair a little bit of everything why does this thing keep going out of focus but this is it this is my setup there's really not much to it I've got a nice little small drill press that works very well for me jigsaw there's my heat gun for doing the shrink wrapping these are all waiting to be shrink wrapped I cut them a couple days ago and they've been drying those are some leftover kid puzzles that I'm gonna give away to somebody more setup and that's about it I cannot think of anything else to uh, display or show but if you have any questions at all I look forward to hearing from you thank you